Hello traders, hope you will enjoy your trading. This is a new educational video and in this video I'll be talking to you about the psychology of trading and for me I really see that psychology of trading is a fine line, is the fine line between uh, losing and winning. And actually uh, I have to say that most traders experience similar thoughts and similar uh, feelings and emotions when they uh, are exploring the charts and this happens to all traders. Uh, and you have to you have to know that trading does not only depend on strategies and price action actually big part of your trading uh depend on your psychology so smart thinking and discipline actually for me as uh, is more important than uh, a strategy that you provide in this video i'll be talking to you about range of emotions that actually uh win it over whilst the uh, trader actually it can ruin everything and it can lead you to lose the trades and as you can see on the chart i have doubt fear and revenge those are the most important feelings and emotions that a trader experience while trading and actually those emotions can make any trader in the world lose all his trades and actually blow his account the first uh, emotion that i'm talking about is doubt actually uh, doubt uh, happens and i have to say most of the emotions happen happens uh, due to uh, having uh, a, a series of uh, loss uh, trades when you have uh, many uh, trades that hit stop loss you can get these emotions so doubt is when you doubt yourself when you doubt uh, your strategy, when you doubt your knowledge, when you are in, uh, you want to enter a trade or you in a trade and then you start telling yourself, no, I think I'm wrong. No, I think uh, that I'm not good enough or what I have is not what it takes. Actually, you should not uh, have this feeling. You should fight it as, uh, as much as you can. You should trust your own judgment and... Um, make sure that what you have is a real knowledge, then you should not have any doubt of your uh, judgment. The second feeling is fear. And actually, as I said, it happens also having after having uh, some loose uh, trades. When you have those uh, trades that hit stop loss, you will get fear. You will get uh, fearful and you, you will uh, try not to trade because you are very afraid. Um, well, I have to say, one of the most important things that you can use to uh, fight your fear is not to risk much in any trade. When you're trading, you should risk uh, what you feel comfortable with. What you feel comfortable, if you lost, you don't feel uh, very, very depressed, you know? So you should risk what is good enough for you. You should not risk too much if you feel that if this trade hit stop loss and let's say you will uh, lose like minus minus uh, 30 dollars then uh, and if you know that losing those 30 dollars dollars will make you so bad so depressed and actually will feel horrible for me you should lower your lot size so risk what is good for you risk what you feel comfortable with do not risk too much because you will get so fearful and then you might uh, exit the trade while it's in loss and you also have a misjudgment of your trade the final uh, emotion that i'm talking about is re revenge actually revenge happens to, um, I have to say, all trader, traders, and actually revenge is an emotion that uh, exists since the Stone Ages. So revenge, uh, one of the um, um, emotions that happen to you when you hit your stop loss, you just get so mad, you want to get revenge from the market, and you think that the market is a person like you. So you take it very personally, and you want to enter another trade and another trade just to get revenge and to get back your money. This is not how it happens in the market. First, do not take it personally at all. In the market, you should know that anything can, ha can happen. Your trade, actually, you put a stop loss because it might hit your stop loss. You put it because it can hit the stop loss. So anything can happen in the market. Do not take it personally. The market is not running after you and it has nothing to do with you. It happens that your trade can hit a stop loss and also at the same time, it can hit your target. So 
you should not take it personally. As I said, the psychology of trading is, for me, can uh, represent 70% of your trading. It does not only depend on your um, strategies and your price action and blah, blah, blah. No, actually your uh, psychology, how you control yourself while you, while you are in front of the screen, seeing the money going up and down, going from being a positive to minus you should control yourself you should know we should know how to um, um, how to control these emotions how to put your emotions out of the door where you when you are in front of the screen just um, trust your judgment uh, make sure that of course you educated yourself very well and you have a good strategies that you have tested before then try to put these emotions out the door and trust me when you do this you will be very very successful and very profitable trader so i hope you guys like this video and benefit from it if you want to uh, if you want me to talk about other ideas uh, to educate you you can write it to me in the comments and of course i will uh, do it uh, for you so i hope you guys like this video trade everybody and have a nice day